Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the webinar today. We have a great webinar planned for you. We're going to discuss the Seek Thermal Inspection Camera. Uh, my name is John Stan Carone. I'm an engineer and product specialist with T Equipment. Uh, joining me will be Walter Dombrowski with Seek Thermal Inc. Uh, thank you for taking the time, Walter. Walter Dombrowski is a technical product manager at Seek Thermal and an accomplished leader in the thermal imaging industry with over 20 years in the thermal camera and thermal imaging industry. Walter has a vast knowledge of experience. Um, and at Seek, Walter uses his technical background and thermal know-how to design and develop products with Seek's engineering and product teams. In addition, Walter manages the technical content for the Seek Thermal OEM cores and Seek Thermal SDKs, software development kits, including the Seek Thermal Developer Portal. Uh, Walter's extensive thermal background has allowed him to work with many, many devices from complex multi-sensor long-range cryo-cooled systems, the tiny module OEM components, and in a multitude of industries. Before turning the presentation over to Walter, uh, while we're waiting for any late joiners to join the webinar, I've got a couple slides about our company to show you. Um, we've just recently celebrated 20 years in business. And uh, during that time, we've become a very large stocking distributor. We really do take to heart the slogan, buy from people, not just the internet. And we have a highly qualified staff here to help you. Um, as you can see, we are a national and international distributor. Uh, we cover the needs of a wide variety of customer types, as you can see on, the, on this slide. Uh, all these different industries and more, actually. Um, and then on the right, you can see some of the multitude of products that we offer to our customers. Uh, in total, we have more than a half million products. Uh, so many, many, many different products to choose from, including, of course, thermal cameras. Uh, we have invested heavily into our website, as well as our internal software systems. Uh, we utilized the, the uh, website and we present it to our customers as a, a resource to, to be able to filter out things that they're not looking for and to filter into things that they are looking for. So as you can see from the, the web page there, photo I've shown, you can uh, you know filter things by you know, temperature range, image frequency, sensitivity, pricing, you can sort by pricing, uh, things like that, things that are in stock. So we, we encourage you to utilize that, but if you do have any questions or need assistance, uh, you're always free to give us a call or send us an email. Um, now, what I'm going to do is turn the presentation over to Walter Dombrowski with Seek Thermal, and he's going to start uh, the presentation. Thank you, John. I'll try to... Sure, you're very welcome. Okay. Hopefully everybody can see my screen. Yes, I see it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, I will hide this one side. <clears throat> okay. So my name is uh, Walter Dombrowski. I'm a technical product manager at Seek Thermal. And today we'll be going over our newest product called the Inspection Camp. We'll give a general overview for Seek Thermal in case you're unfamiliar with us. Uh, then review some of the popular applications that we see being used with the Inspection Cam product. Then we'll go over a general hardware overview of the product itself, some different mounting options we have. And then we'll go into a custom software that we have for the camera. Um, Lastly, we'll probably review some of the competitive advantages, and then we'll have a brief live demo with the software and a camera I have here set up. So, Seek was founded by William Parrish and Tim Fitzgibbons back in 2015. Uh, they are founders and industry pioneers in the thermal space, uh, basically just spending the last 40 years dedicating their lives to taking this what was a once high grade military only technology to the general public, uh, working over the past 40 years to make it smaller, more affordable and more useful for other industries. Um, 
Bill and Tim founded companies like Amber Engineering, which were then acquired by Raytheon and used a lot of his technology from back then. Uh, he also made Indigo Systems, which was bought by FLIR, which is now Teledyne FLIR, of course. Uh, but they they both use a lot of tech patents and technology that Bill had founded. So um, this is his third venture now uh, with the two of them starting Seek Thermal back in 2015. And our mission is quite simple, even though it's a, a bit complicated, is to make thermal imaging a part of everyday life. And how we see ourselves doing this is getting thermal into more and more applications and needs. So. Starting out in 2015, we had a singular product called the Compact, which would plug into your phone for general imaging purposes. Since then, we've had quite a few branded products and even sell some cores. Today, we're gonna to focus, like I said, on the inspection camera, our newest product line. Uh, this was designed primarily for close-up inspection, uh, often used in first, first article and quality inspection analysis, looking at PCBAs, electronical components, crimps, things of this nature, checking for faults and, and quality and how the heat and electrical flow of the board is laid out. We also see it probably being used in some quality on automation inspection, things like chip bag sealing on inspection lines or assembly lines, a lot of machine learning applications and things of this nature. Also, given the large uh, uh, lens that it does have, you can be pretty far away if you want to do some general monitoring of larger machines and equipment, zoom in for server room type monitoring. And we do see, given the price of the camera, that it will probably do very well in the scientific, medical, botany research type community and education, exploring thermal in general. Uh, we have a few customers doing some things like studying brain cultures and things under this nature because of the ability to, to, to focus so closely with the camera. So as a general overview, the camera is quite small and compact. Uh, it's tough and easy to handle. Simply put it in your pocket, walk around with it, plug it in, uh, and you can start imaging with it. It has a 320 by 240 high resolution sensor with a 3.1 millimeter lens for close up detail and inspection. It comes with a simple USB-C uh, output, power, comms, and video all go over this USB-C connection. It's compatible with the Seek uh, Inspection Camera Viewer software for Windows. This is a custom built software specifically designed for first article and incoming quality inspection. The camera is pretty versatile though. It can work with our Seek Thermal app uh, for Android devices if you go on your Google Play Store. And it can also work with our SDKs. So you can have a lot of customization and integration capabilities into any Windows, Linux, or Android type system. We'll go over these things a little bit more as we go through the presentation. The hardware itself is pretty straightforward. Um, and inside the box, what we have is a USB stick with the user manual, camera warranty, some different guides, and the actual inspection camera software itself. Comes with the USB-C cable that's two meters long and a focus tool that we put in the front of the lens. You can either have it in inside of the lens cavity there where you can twist it back and forth, or you can remove it as you've reached your final focusing position. So you have a couple different options. Turning the lens counterclockwise will focus on objects closer, and turning it clockwise will focus on objects farther away. We also have so, uh, two different mounting options for the unit. Uh, there is a, a four hole mounting pattern on the back plate of the camera. Uh, this can be used possibly with some custom 3D printed mounting plates or some different mounts that are available. For ease of use, though, we also have a quarter 20 mounting hole right in the bottom of the camera. So any quarter 20 mount of any kind can be used to you to hold the camera in place or position it. There's a little cosmetic cap. Uh, this can easily be removed with your fingernail or things of that nature. The inspection camera software viewer 
that comes with the unit. It can kind of be broken up into four different sections. We have sort of the camera connection and camera information section. We have some general settings and controls that we give you. The imagery and the temperature data is right in the center for everybody to look at and focus on. And then we have some more advanced image settings and controls on the far right. We'll go through this in a little bit more detail when we go through the live demo at the end of the presentation. Some alternatives to the software we have pre-built for you is that you could log into the Seek Thermal Developer Portal and use the Seek Thermal SDKs. This is on Linux, Windows, and Android. As I said before, allows you to have some customization and integration ability into existing systems or if you want to develop your own software tool. Um, we do have a Python wrapper as well that work with our SDKs. I envision a lot of machine learning type people will tend to go towards this Python uh, space. And then, of course, as we as said before, you know, plugging in with your phone on an Android phone, you can go to the Google Play Store and use the camera as well. Um, all the features in the Seek Thermal app on the phone will work with the camera, whether you want to record video, take pictures, et cetera. So why the inspection cam? Well, we have one of the largest resolution thermal cameras in the inspection market with a 320 by 240 sensor. We also give you unmatched clarity, getting a spot size of 52 microns per pixel at a distance of four centimeters away from the object. So you can get way in on your zooming capability and pick out finite detail. It's small, compact, lightweight design and simple and easy to use interface we think will stand out against the competition, as well as being the only thermal camera on the market with Seek's patented smart dual gain pixel technology. What this means is that you can look at uh, very hot and cold things with great clarity at the same time in one scene. Many other thermal cameras have to switch between seeing hot temperatures or seeing colder temperatures. The inspection cam is certified for laboratory use and is fully NDAA compliant. Seek Thermal manufactures and uh, designs everything from our microbolometer sensor and the ROIC design itself to the hardware and capacity uh, that the camera cores get built into to the final housings and things that the product, the cores will then get placed into a branded space. So everything is done a full stack system and house uh, and all done here in the US. Cameras in the market with similar specifications to ours tend to be two and a half to three times as expensive as our camera. We're trying to get more and more people to use this technology. Making it at affordable price is the primary goal. There are a few cameras in the market that have a similar price, but then you're going down to low, lower resolutions, smaller lenses, you don't get quite as much bang for the buck. And then we truly believe that our modularity approach to our products and designs will really help us win out, allowing you to either use the pre-built uh, software that we provide or kind of make some own customizations. So without any further ado, I'll go through a short little live demo with the camera unit I have set up here at my hotel. Um, so here is the, the inspection camera software. I have a camera connected here. And um, right now I'm looking at a Raspberry Pi device, a Raspberry Pi 4, uh, that's just on my desktop. And we'll kind of go through some of the feature set. So we have a timestamp and frame counter on the far left here, some different controls with uh, the shutter. You can even change the temperature units and we have a global offset temperature uh, available for you if you want to use it. So some different keys and components really that are often used are the different color palettes. Uh, changing the color palette can really bring out certain details uh, depending on how you like the colorization of things, highlighting highs and lows separately. Um, we also have uh, different AGC modes so you can actually do a linear type mapping of the hottest component to the coldest component, um, or do more of a histogram. In the space of uh, inspection, people tend to use this linear more often than not. 
We have a couple other uh, palettes that are pretty useful. A high-low, really just highlighting the hottest components and coldest components in the image or scene at a given time. Um, but the most popular and most detailed uh, color palettes tend to be the white hot and black hot color palettes. Uh, it's easiest on the eye and allows you to get some great detail. We have a few features of filters as well that you can use. The sharpening filter is very popular in the space, adding different edges and components. We also have an additional feature here to basically put on some on-screen display. So you can see there's a spot temperature, a min and a max temperature for the scene. If I add these, you can now see where the cold components and hot components are uh, by these little squares that appear. Uh, the last feature that's probably pretty useful is that we can allow you to draw an area as well on the image. And that will then generate an average area temperature for that given uh, space that you've collected. Simply click in the upper left corner and the lower right corner of where you want your box to appear and click in the center to remove it. There are some advanced controls as well. Um, going into some of the linear components and the histogram algorithms, we allow you to target and control different features. So, um, for example, I can use some of the counts that I have in the bottom here to target just the hot components in my scene. So, if I want to focus on just maybe the processors, I can highlight just those features, and you can use these types of things to bring out certain temperatures or components on your board system. So that, that's it, I think, for a general overview of the product itself and, and what we're trying to do here at Seek Thermal. I hope that uh, this has enlightened a few people about the possibilities. And as uh, John said in the beginning, please submit all your questions and we'll go back and send you emails and add some more documentation as uh, we learn what people are interested in knowing about the product. Okay. Thank you very much, Walter. That was a great webinar, very interesting. Looks like a great product. Um, I wanna thank everyone for attending. Um, if you do have any questions, please do submit them. Um, through the, uh, the question chat uh, portion of the webinar, or you can also email them to us at sales at tequipment.net, and we'll be emailing uh, answers to the questions. Um, if you uh, have anything else that we can help you with, um, if you want some product literature or quotation, we'd be happy to help you with that as well. Uh, so again, this is John Stan Carone and uh, Walter Dombrowski is the presenter today for Seek Thermal, and uh, we thank you very much for attending.